Morning, we're taking a look at how the Ishpeming Senior Center is raising awareness for Alzheimer's disease. TV6's Michael Sobeck joins us live from the Senior Center. All right, Michael, this is such an important event, and organizers really do want to see a big turnout on Friday. Absolutely, Elizabeth. There is a goal. It's not only here Friday at the Ishman Senior Center, but even in Marquette where there's going to be another walk happening. The goal is to raise funds, of course, for to end Alzheimer's here in the Upper Peninsula. So starting in that conversation, we're going to talk a little bit about what's going on here at the Ishman Senior Center, especially on Friday. I have Ashley joining me. You're the executive director, so thank you for joining me this morning. Yes, thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Now, there's a lot of purple. Officially, yes. we, we are, we're wearing purple. Yes. So give us a little bit about a rundown of quick explanation of what Alzheimer's is for people at home. So Alzheimer's is the most common form of dementia and it is where you lose brain cells and function and it's really difficult for people. So there are a lot of warning signs that you can pay attention to. We encourage people to go to their doctor, but we, the main thing is that we're here to support people and we have resources in our community. And that's all possible with the Alzheimer's walk. Absolutely. Now, there's a few things behind us here. We have, of course, brochures and information that people can obviously come and access and can find not only here, but also online. Uh, but as for Friday, what is the schedule look like? So Friday, we are actually a branch of the Marquette Walk. The Marquette Walk starts on Saturday. Registration's at 9. It's free to the public. Any donations may go back to that larger pool of money that stays within our region of the Upper Peninsula. So because we are on the West End and not very close to Matson Lower Harbor, we are doing our own walk on Friday. We have some great sponsors, Nicolet Bank, Doozers, and the Lions Club of Ishpeming. They're going to be helping us with free food, um, helping transport people, and also helping with registration. So people can come at 10 o'clock, and we're going to do an opening ceremony at 1030, and we're going to start our walk to Lake Bancroft at 11. And anybody who wants to walk can join us. We're purple and... All of the funds donated, our goal is $2,000, and all of that money from the West End Warriors team goes back into the bigger pot of $40,000 as the goal for Marquette. Absolutely. And, of course, there's a lot of things that are going on. Now, you mentioned um, some of that transportation. So if, if people who are also going to be looking to hang around, could they also do that as well? Yes, so the Lions Club of Ishpeming is going to offer free transportation for people. Either, me, either you want to walk to Lake Bancroft and you don't want to walk back to the Senior Center or you want to make it to Lake Bancroft and just be with the group, they will be able to transport people back and forth. And then our live music will be happening around lunchtime from three local West End musicians. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much. Because coming up in our next segment, we're going to take a little bit deeper dive, a little bit more what's also what's going on Friday, and of course, how you guys can join, register either online or in person for this walk and support and be a West End warrior and support Alzheimer's. It's back to you, ladies. All right. Thank you so much, Michael. All right. We still have all these events happening. We're gearing up for another busy week and weekend. So hopefully the weather holds out for some of them. Well, right now it doesn't look like we have a big system right. or any major rains coming in, but we could have some isolated rain tomorrow. And I'll time that out for you after the break.